Hi everybody, Peter Sterlacci here, founder of Believe Become Be Your Brand with today's personal branding with a spin video. And today I'm excited to start a four part video series that highlights four different misconceptions and myths about personal branding here in Japan and how I work with people to better understand how to debunk and bust these myths and so they can embrace the power of personal branding to be more successful in their lives and in their careers. Now, for those of you who know me, uh, you know that my base of operation is in Japan. And right behind me is one of my favorite shrines in Kyoto, Japan. This is Heian Shrine. It's actually the place where I got married. And you know, I've been very fortunate and very lucky to spend 11 years of my life living and working in this amazing culture. And so a year ago, when I decided to break away from the nine to five job and start my own business, I really wanted to think about what was the best way that I can contribute to, uh, to this uh, culture. And I felt the way that I could do that is to help Japanese uh, uh, business people to better um, embrace the power of personal branding and how they could use their personal brands to be much more successful in their global careers. Now in this process of doing this, I realized that you know, my mission really is to uh, perhaps you know, be part of a culture shift and a mindset shift and to really uh, maybe shift the, uh, the thinking of personal branding in Japan one personal brand at a time. And by doing this, I've come across these different myths and misconceptions. And the one that I want to share today is this idea uh, that Japanese tend to feel that if they go through the process of personal branding, they really have to give up their group identity. You know, this really comes from the fact that in Japan, people are educated to be self-effacing. And what this means is that there's this uh, idea of putting the needs of the group uh, ahead of the individual. And so this concept of, of unearthing your unique attributes and using these to differentiate yourself from others is really a, a rather challenging concept in Japan. Uh, Japanese are much more interested in preserving their in-group identity rather than really promoting their individuality. So what I do is when I work with people I tell them that personal branding really is not about um, uh, isolating yourself from others and showing off uh, uh, away from the group. It's more about really uncovering and understanding really who you are and using that to actually better empower the group and the team and the company and the organization. And uh, you know, really in a group oriented culture like Japan, it's really critical that you, know, you use your personal brand and you use your unique promise of value to better um, uh, to benefit the group and the organization. And I tell people that the diversity that you bring to the team and to the group is really not at the expense of others, but rather it is there to empower a larger group goal. And when the group really sees that your personal brand, that your authenticity is contributing to this larger goal, they're much more committed to you, your personal brand is preserved, and the in-group identity is also preserved as well. So this is really the first myth and misconception that I work with with people here in Japan. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed uh, listening to this one. If you have any comments or you'd like to share some thoughts or ideas on this, please feel free to do so in the boxes below. I encourage you to visit my website at petersterlachi.com and subscribe to my newsletter there so you can stay up to date on some of the other things that I'm doing here in Japan. It's pretty cold here right now, so it's about probably one degree uh, here. I'm about to jump back on the bike, pedal onward. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video where I'll share the next uh, misconception that I've come across here. And again, how I work with people to, to uh, debunk that misconception and embrace the power of personal branding. So thanks again. I'll see you next time on my next ride. Take care. Bye-bye.